Everyone is questioning the relevance of university. There are famous people like Elon Musk saying that you don't need to go to college. What you want to learn, you just stay home and learn online. I mean, there is Peter Thiel offering $100,000 just for you to skip college and work on the idea that you have. With the advancement of online courses, YouTube, cohort-based courses, and the rise of each of the top universities, this question gets more and more relevant. Is going to university still worth it? Now, people in foreign countries can quote Elon Musk and say that I want to skip college. But as Indians, we don't really have that option. Now, maybe you wanted to skip college or maybe you wanted to go to the college experience. But one thing that remains important to understand is how we can get the maximum value out of college and how we can make these four years the most productive years of our life. So in this video, I'll talk about a thing called proof of work, which will help us gain the maximum value out of college. This video is divided into four parts where I'll explain what is proof of work, how my university, which is Ahmedabad University, uses proof of work, how proof of work can accelerate your career and help you learn and how you can use proof of work in your daily life. So if you're interested, let's dive in. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Pushkar and I'm a student in Ahmedabad University. So what is proof of work? So the idea behind proof of work is that if you want to show someone that you know something, you show your proof of work. You show what you have done in that space, which will tell the other person that you actually know something. Now to give you an example, let's say that you take a course on marketing. Now, after you take the course, you just give the exam and you pass with flying colors. But does that actually mean that you know marketing? Does that mean that you could just go in a company and apply those concepts there? That's where the gap between education and learning comes in. And that's where the system of proof of work comes in. Now, if you follow proof of work, what would you do in this situation? What you would do is whatever that you learn from your marketing course, you will take all those concepts and all those knowledge and apply it somewhere. Either in an internship that you do, or if you have a family business, you'll do it there or if you want to start something of your own, you apply all those concepts into your own business. And then you test if the things that you learn in your class are still applicable to the real world. And this is where you bridge the gap between education and learning. And this is the concept of proof of work. Now, now Ahmedabad University, which is a university that I study in, also follows a system of proof of work. Now, it's not exactly similar to proof of work, nor do they have the official name of proof of work. But what happens is a lot of courses are not exam based course, they are project based course. So at the end of the course, you won't have to give an exam. You would have to make a project which will help you get the grades required to pass the course and move to further courses. Of course, this is not possible for all the courses and not everyone wants to, you know, make college the most productive years of her life. But this is the cases in most of the applicable courses in Ahmedabad University. And the value that you get after making something is just intangible. So let's understand how proof of work helps us. So the first thing that the proof of work does for us is helps us bridge the gap between theoretical knowledge and practical understanding. So a lot of times you might have seen that you think that you know something, but when you actually go to do something, you will understand your knowledge gap. Like when I was learning to code, I would just watch videos and then I thought that I knew how to do this stuff. But when I actually started to build something, that's where I understood my knowledge gap. That's what happens when you actually try to build something. Thing. You understand what you know and you understand what you don't know and this helps you bridge the gap between your theoretical knowledge and your practical understanding of the idea. Second way it helps you is that learning happens beyond your project. So let's say you're taking a course on fundamentals of computer programming and you decide that you want to make an app. Now while you make this course you will learn how to make an app but you will also know how to market that app. You will also know some content writing. You will also know how to talk to people about your idea. So learning happens all around. It's not just limited to your subject but if you make something you have to learn a lot of stuff to get that stuff going. Let's say you are an economic student right and then your main project is analyzing the macroeconomic variables of a country now when you make this project you're not just learning how to analyze the macroeconomic variables you're also understanding how to get data from a website like how to analyze that data and how to work with the data so that's how proof of work helps you when you make something your knowledge get expanded in all dimensions third way in which proof of work helps you is it gets you something to talk about with your interviewers and your friends now if you make something from your courses if you sit for an interview or while you're just talking to your friends right because you have actually done something you have a lot more to talk about you know there is this thing in writing called if you don't have stuff to write about go get a life and that's what you have to do here like while you're talking to your interviewer or while you're talking just just for internships or just your friends if you haven't done something in your life what are you going to talk about right so just make something and this will get, improve your credibility in front of the interviewer and in front of your friends and your family and whoever you talk to just understand that the more interested you are the more interesting you get and one thing that i encourage all of you to do is whatever that you make publish it online send it send the link to your friends and talk about it to everyone now this is not just to boast but when you talk about your ideas to people your ideas get refined your thinking is clearer 
thinker and you become a better thinker and a better executioner so when you talk about your ideas to someone or when you show your project to someone they will give you feedback and that's how you improve so that's why publishing your work online is a critical step in this proof of work system how to start with the concept of proof of work now it's not very difficult when you finish a course just try to make something out of it just try to make a small project a small thing and just try to share it with people it can be it can be just a research paper or it can be an actual product that you make and i'm excited to see what you all make in this project and uh, that's it for today's video i hope you learned something out of it stay ambitious stay curious and stay weird i'll see you next time